penis gated lumbar plexus block by capillus approach for performing this block we need to know the landmarks i have marked the l4 spinous process and the posterior superior iliac spine what is capillus approach the spinous process of l4 is identified a line drawn a line is drawn from the center of l4 spinous process laterally to intersect with the line that passes through the posterior superior iliac spine parallel to the vertebral column on the side to be blocked the puncture point is is at the junction of the lateral one and the medial two third of the line joining l4 to the line passing through the posterior superior iliac spine the needle is advanced at right angles to the line right angles to the skin until the transverse process of l4 is encountered if it is encountered the needle is either moved uh, caudally or cephalod not more than Two centimeters. This is how patient is positioned for the block. Needle is inserted at the yeah. puncture site, pun perpendicular to the skin. Once you hit the transverse process of file four, the lumbar plexus is less than two yeah. centimeter far. Yeah. Far. Yeah. Keeping that in mind, yeah. once you hit the transverse pro yeah. after you hit the transverse process, the, the knee, middle finger of two hands is placed. On the needle, leaving two centimeter away from the skin, which is kept as a guide, so that you don't advance a needle too far to avoid complications. So, see here, you have elicited quadriceps contraction. I started with one point five milliamperes. An eighty-five year old elderly lady. And then you reduce your milliamperes to one and then point eight, point six, and point five. And even if you don't get that point four, if point five is fine with lumbar plexus. Now we are not eliciting quarters of contraction. I increase my milliamperes. Now still not getting any contractions. So you push your needle further inside. Now you are eliciting contractions further. So point five milliamperes. You should elicit contractions. Push your needle further inside and see. You are getting contractions there at 0.5 milliamperes. You can give your drug at 0.5 milliamperes if you are getting it. So before giving the drug, keep your hub end of the needle open to air to see any free flow. Always keep the hub end open to air to see. Any. Don't do it like this. Uh, always keep. Uh, the hub been too open to air as and then you can give the desired amount of local anesthetic sacral plexus block mansus approach posterior superior iliac spine 6 cm below insert your needle uh, first you will elicit gluteus and maximus contraction uh, that is in, uh, by the inferior glutein nerve so uh, that means your needle direction is in the right plane as you drive a needle two centimeters be further below you will elicit the plantar response or, or, or dorsiflexion so you decrease your milliampere start with 1.5 or 1 uh, this is elderly, I started with 1.5, reduce down to 0.4, if you get 0.4 milliamperes, then still 0 0.4 milliamperes, you get a good response, give the drug for a successful blockage. Thank you.